I should have talked computing, but I got to upgrade some PCs. Um, what are you looking at? In the filming session. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Cameron Brown and a warm welcome to the How to Cameron channel. Today I have a bit more of a serious video that I'm going to upload. And the reason why is because I like making these videos in which I actually deeply talk to you guys. I think you guys seem to really appreciate them. So I'm going to be sure that I'm going to make more of these types of videos in the future. Today's video is going to be about PewDiePie and PewDiePie quitting his YouTube channel in six months. Now, PewDiePie quitting his YouTube channel uh, was made public by one of his editors uh, who tweeted out in response to someone saying that PewDiePie wasn't as energetic and due to the empirical evidence, they thought that he looked like he was making the video based on obligation and not out of inspiration, which is how you should pretty much make videos. Uh, and Brad replied saying, a lot of people have been asking about PewDiePie's energy slash mood this week. Been in various meetings over the past couple of weeks. As far as it has been expressed to me, Felix is bringing the PewDiePie channel to an official end within six months. So this is likely why. Uh, why he's not been as energetic in his videos. And PewDiePie actually made a video today, which I watched. Uh, it was a the why video. He didn't really talk properly about his feelings. Because if he's been in all these meetings, multiple meetings... Uh, talking about him ending the channel in the future, the fact that he made a video saying something is going wrong uh, and only mentioned it for about three minutes uh, in which he talked about how everything's actually going all right. It just didn't sit well with me. I didn't like it how in the video he came across as, oh, it's all right. It's just a meme that I'm not as energetic anymore and that I'll be here tomorrow. You know, this persona, it's just a meme. When... It is conflicted with his editor, his actual trusted editor, saying that there's been meetings proclaiming that he is ending his channel. I kept dropping these jokes at the end of the video where I would say, Oh, I'm here tomorrow, guys. I do this every single day. I really appreciate the concern, and I'm really glad that I have an audience that uh, don't, like, get mad at me if they notice something. They just show compassion, and I appreciate that, but... Uh, it was the same thing when I made jokes about running out of ideas. I don't know if you guys remember, that was like a year ago. Everyone kept joking. I kept joking that I was running out of ideas and it became a meme. So as soon as I posted a video that was like hardly inspired, a bit uninspired, everyone kept going, he's out of ideas, oh my God. And it just re kept getting reinforced as, as fact that I was running out of ideas. When in reality, I had a ton of ideas for videos lined up. Like it was not a problem. Uh, and I, I kept making this joke at the end of the video now where I say I'm here every single day guys every single day I literally just made the joke because I don't pre-record my videos the fact that I record every single day I think it's kind of funny in a way, you know, it, it keeps going and it's kept going for so long without a stop And I kind of wanted just to remind people I'm here tomorrow check out tomorrow's video But then a lot of people I've seen a lot of people comment about this saying oh he seems really tired or he seems like really uh, and unenergetic, which isn't the truth at all. Now, the reason why I'm so passionate about this topic is because PewDiePie is my favorite YouTuber. You probably can tell that through my videos. Uh, I do copy some of his uh, background music, uh, some of his dialect, and also some of his style of videos. Uh, copy, I think, is not the correct word. I'm inspired by them, so I reuse them and mimic them. That is definitely not copying. It's different, god dang it. Before this video starts, leave me a like right now and sub if you're new. I forgot to say that at the start of the video. God dang it. I need more subscribers. What the flip? I need to be the most subscribed YouTuber. Flipping heck. But yeah, in this video, PewDiePie talked about him making videos every single day. And this really related with me because I am a YouTuber who is going to school. You know, I go to sixth form. I'm revising for my A-levels. Uh, and just to mention something with my A-levels, uh, the grades were actually revised for physics. My grade boundaries were finally sorted out and I actually got an A in physics, which means for my AS levels, I got all A's uh, for my mocks. Thus, I'm predicted all A's for my A-levels, which I think is absolutely insane. I actually went to uh, a UCAS fair, which is where like lots of universities base themselves uh, in little booths, kind of. And you can talk to the universities about what subjects you want to do and get some open day dates. 
And that was really eye-opening. I want to study chemistry at university. I know people are going to be commenting, what happens if your YouTube channel blows up? It bloody won't, okay? I'm not expecting it to blow up. And I don't care if it doesn't blow up. Like a lot of people, I think, at school uh, and generally in the comments expect that, you know, I expect that, that I think my channel is going to blow up. I make videos because I love making videos. I don't make videos just to blow up. That is ridiculous. I make a good amount of money off my videos and I also have a lot of fun making them. So I don't see what the issue is with them. So generally speaking, uh, YouTube is great. I'm glad that I'm making videos. It makes me so much happier. But I work insanely hard. You know, I'm only doing three A-levels. A lot of people got surprised at how I did, I'm not doing four. Uh, we didn't have the option to do four A-levels. I used to think my sixth form was really good. But looking at our predictor grades, people in our sixth form and comparing them with other people's sixth forms, like my girlfriend's, for example, uh, like that sixth form sounds way better. The sixth form that I'm in is terrible. I'm not even going to lie. I thought it was good. Probably some teachers are going to watch this. God dang it. But generally speaking, I don't think it's very good. I mean, it's good to learn at and I'm doing well, but I just don't think... It's that good in comparison to other six forms. You can only do three A-levels unless you take further maths. There isn't as many A-level choices. So that's why I, I only did three A-levels. I probably wouldn't have done four A-levels, even if I had the option, simply because it's very hard for me to balance everything. Especially when I don't need four A-levels. Like, that's not necessary. But I'm doing really well with my A-levels. I spend about one and a half hours to two hours a day on my YouTube videos. Uh, it's been a lot less recently i've really been neglecting my channel which is not good but i've kind of had to uh but i make daily videos i really do try to upload every single day and i think a lot of people respect that but also a lot of people dislike that uh, i understand that i don't get many views per video in comparison to my subscriber count i understand that if i uploaded four videos a week i i was sane i'd probably get a lot more views per video but no, I get a lot less views per video because I upload every day. But I like to upload every day. It's good for growth in the future. It pleases the YouTube algorithm. But this does create a lot of stress. And I can definitely see why PewDiePie, after making daily videos for six years, probably even more. He made daily videos in 2011. Jesus Christ. I can see why he's not been as energetic and as inspired to do it and it makes sense that he wants to change that in the future however what doesn't make sense is just the vocabulary that was used to explain this like he's bringing the pewdiepie channel to an end why does it have to end like that doesn't make any sense like surely if he has a passion for it the fact that he's just gonna end his channel uh, you know he's, only, he's not even 30 years old he's just gonna end his channel and that's it that sounds stupid like why doesn't he just slow down with how many videos he makes or just take a long break uh, it really doesn't make sense. It doesn't sound like him. This is the thing with PewDiePie. I've watched his content for so many years. I, I know about him through his persona uh, that he puts in in his videos. And I understand that he is a very different person in real life. And that's relatable to me. In my videos, I like to put myself across as someone who is strong. Someone who is smart and sharp. And admittedly, I am smart. But I'm not always as strong emotionally. Like, I'm not always as angry. I mean, I'm not a weak person at all, especially mentally. Mentally, I'm a very strong person, uh, but I'm not particularly stable. But I'm strong, so it's good. Um, but in my videos, I like to portray myself as more angry and as more, like, high rate, just for comedic purposes. And I think a lot of people don't really realize that. People just expect that I'm just a horrible person in real life. Uh, just like I am in my videos. And I understand that in my videos, I can come across as a prick. And that's the main intention of them. So if I am coming across as a prick, it's working. But yeah, I know that this video was a little bit rambly. I just wanted to talk to you guys because I feel that I do have a very smart audience. It's annoying. I can't manipulate you guys. God flipping damn it. But I really do appreciate it. I really do. I do get a lot of support on my videos. And I'm forever grateful of that. Thanks for watching. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new today. I hope you understood it to some extent. I understood it too. Big side me.